Nish Garshev and welcome to my kitchen. Look, today I have a guest, my dear friend Tracy, and she's going to make for us her one of her specialty. It's a llama bean. It's creamy, it's delicious, and I can eat entire bowl. Yummy. <laughs> so today we're going to make this bowl of llama beans and serve with rice as complete meal. And Tracy is going to show all tricks and all her tries and right for over the years. Tricks she, and tips. Yep. Over the years she perfects this recipe. And this recipe is absolutely delicious. In our church, everyone loves this. And it's vegan, so plant-based, I should say. <laughs> so if you have friends or if you are follow that uh, diet, it's really delicious, yummy. And most important, it's quick. It's very quick and she will show what she using. She's mother, by the way, of six children. She doesn't have time of <laughs> cooking like I do for the most time. So she will show you how to do fast, quick, delicious, and most important, nutritious meal. Let's do it. Talk us, please, about ingredients. I know some secrets. You have some secrets. <laughs> I do. Um, what makes this recipe work is, number one, using a generous amount of healthy oil. A lot of the recipes I see out there have no fat in them. Yeah, Second, right. you use that oil to bloom the spices and seasonings. That brings out the flavor. For sure. Because yeah. most spices, like we're going to use cumin, I already see that. <laughs> it's a fat soluble spice. So to get the best benefits of spice and the best aroma, you need to infuse in the oil, right? Bloom the spices yeah. with nice cool heat and then cook cooking until creamy, 10 to 20 minutes at the end, because when you first take it off the bean cycle, it'll be brothy. So you have to cook it down some more to get it creamy. And the instant pot, that's the way to go, right? <laughs> it's probably your favorite too, right? One of my favorites. Um, what, the, what other ingredients that make speed up and make quicker? Um, these are lifesavers for me. Um, usually one of the two brands I get are Pick Sweet Farms or McKenzie. Tell us, please, where we can find those ingredients. Um, I usually get them at Walmart. Um, you can get them in the at Publix in the freezer section. Yes. In the freezer section. So it's nothing secret. And I already posted two years ago a salad on my blog where I use the same llama beans. I absolutely love it. In farmer's market in a season, you can find them fresh, but most likely for most people, for busy people, freezer department in Well, you can also in. cook from dry, but if you're gonna soak them, you have to remember to do that a day yeah. ahead. And so the too fresh, much bright green color of the frozen ones. Yeah. So that's the way to go, easy. And I also will link below in description all ingredients we're using. Also my salad with the feta and then um, Lama beans and tomato, it's also delicious and nutritious, and I'm sure you will love it. What other spices we using for this recipe? Uh, my go-to is adobo, because adobo. it's just got a great, well-rounded flavor profile. And how, how you make that? You made that, right? Mm -hmm. how, so how do you make that? Um, it's got garlic powder, onion powder, kosher salt, black pepper, um, Mexican oregano, Mmm, I can Cuban. smell it. I can smell it. Maybe some smoked paprika. I can smell a little bit. And smell. maybe a couple of other things. I misplaced my recipe, sorry. So it's very um, aromatic and we're going to use generously in that spice. And I will link below in my blog and I whole recipe for this um, spice. And I'm pretty sure this spice we can use for many recipes, right? Because it has oh, yeah. so much flavor, delicious. I, I can smell, I can probably put from now on in every of my soup. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes. When and you when make it yourself, all the ingredients are a lot fresher than if you get store-bought. Yeah. So you'll get more flavor that yes, way too. Yes, And another ingredients I see we use in oregano, right? As well, just to add more flavor. And Mexican oregano, which is totally different, by the way. If you never experienced smell side by side, and you will know how different they are, and we both want, right? And another ingredient, cumin. I I have only cumin seeds and not powder, so we will go, we're going to grind a little bit. But if you have powder, that will be save your time. You probably use powder, right? It's faster. Um, way. Well, all that's in here, so I. You know, I make this ahead of time so I can just measure and go. But I do want 
Yeah, today but I do want more flavor than just Yeah, that. but we'll just add a little bit just to boost more flavor because we're going to serve with plain rice and it usually helps to build up more flavor to accomplish plain rice and serve as complete meal, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, I fill the bottom of my Instapot up with oil, four to six tablespoons, and then add two cups of the frozen seasoning blend here. Dig it out. One. Look at that, it's all chopped up. I didn't have to chop up any of that. Instapot now has tons of different models, and previously the saute couldn't be um, customized, but now you can. So if you tend to burn things like this, you need the Instapot that has a customizable saute setting. Okay, so we want to get this going until the onions start getting translucent, and you can hardly even see the oil now. But using that good fat makes it taste good. There we go. We want to cook off some of this water before we put seasonings in. So let it steam away for a bit. Just keep it stirring, keep it moving. If you don't, you might burn it. And it's fine if you get a little Maillard reaction going. That always helps the flavor in my okay. book. But you won't get it until you get the water cooked off a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's less steam coming from the veggies. You see that? And the oil is starting to go back into the pan after I've brought it all together over here. I'm going to take out a little more oil so we can keep moving. We're going to put this more oil in there. Yeah. Healthy dose of olive oil is never heard, right? Or butter. <laughs> or butter. <laughs> so we're going with the spice. One tablespoon of adobo seasoning. This you do not want to burn. Oh, smell that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, that's so when you see the oil changing color, see the oil turning yellow, that's when you know you're getting those spices to bloom out. Oh yeah. Turn my right? Mm-hmm. Give me one add a little bit more of the um, okay. so I'm gonna let me grind for you. Turn this off for now okay. so we don't burn. All right, and then we're gonna start stirring and incorporating. So how much water we need to add? It's flexible, honestly. You can do Depends as little as recipe. four cups. You can do as much as two quarts, okay. half broth, half water. Okay. But half the time I make it with water and nobody notices there's no broth. <sighs> so you can add broth if you want, right? Oh yeah. So A ham hock. Okay, so turkey legs or regular chicken stock mm -hmm. would do work, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're not vegetarian, you can add, basically you can add any liquid you wish. And as much as you wish, if you like to eat on thick side, add little. If you like to eat like a soup, add more. There we go. That's probably about four cups. All right, now we're going to use the pressure cook beans setting. There we go, beans, enter, start. Should put the lid on first. There we go. What next after we saute, add in liquid and beans, and now it seems like ready to go, what next? Um, it's on pressure cook setting for beans, and the cook time is 30 minutes. It might take 15 to 20 minutes to get okay. up to pressure. Uh -huh. um, the thing is, if you wanna get this done more quickly, you need to use less water. And you could even use oh. hot water, preheat okay. the water in the kettle okay. before you put it in. That will decrease the time it's sitting in the pot, getting up to pressure. Now it's cooked for about 30 minutes on high pressure. Pressure has released. Now that it's cooked for 30 minutes, we're gonna cook it a little bit more on the saute setting. I just to get liquid out. That's why cooking we off do, the that's liquid. why we cooking with open lid, right? On mm -hmm. saute. Yeah. The liquid's getting more creamy and thicker and thicker. That's what you want. Probably going to need to add some more salt. Can I get this? Mm. 
definitely needs more salt. A little bit. But at this point, I think it's cooked and very soft and creamy, delicious. And we're going to serve over the rice. And how you usually serve? You do on bottom rice, right? Mm. Yes. I like my rice on bottom. My husband likes his rice on top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now nice healthy dose of rice. Oh, do you have some hot sauce? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. And now it's time to dig in. Little bit of rice. Mm. So good. Mm. I like that. It's not overly hot, the, the one I made. It's wonderful. It's lovely. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give me like, subscribe, and I will link below similar related recipes, also all product we use and very few, as you see. It's really a recipe for busy moms. Mom like who has more than three children. <laughs> but really for everybody. It's a wonderful side dish or main dish if you serve with rice. I hope you will do this recipe soon and bye. See you next time.